And we're checking out a little something in the vein of what we do, but kind of outside of it. It has a motor we can talk about. It. As a former CDL driver myself, I can kind of relate to truck driving, yeah. but it's in and Australia. As, and as a truck and owner, it, I can relate. This is road trains and their complex rules. I can't wait to know what a road train is. We already know that they have different slang, so right, it's probably right. like a convoy. Like, you know how you have the Amazon Prime guys, you know, Optimus Prime as they call them, like the big trucks. Maybe it's one of those? I, I don't know. Because last be. time I thought it was about pickup trucks, but it wasn't, it was about 18 wheelers. Yeah, 18 which wheelers. Still, which was still informative. I still love it. It was, yeah, that video, I'm gonna, take a wild guess and say because Australia is a much bigger country than the rest of Europe and the highway system might be the similar to the United States. Yeah. And like it's more long space. and straight. There's more, more space. space. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to assume it's like that. But again, talking ahead of ourselves here. Nope. Let's just dive in. Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. Trucks in Australia. Today, we're going to take a look at the Australian trucks and what it's like to be a truck driver in Australia. Australia is about the same size as the USA, but has a population of approximately 24.5 million, compared to the USA's 330 million. Wow. Wow. Australia's population resides mostly on the eastern coast. There are six major cities across the continent, so the freight movement is very different. This means the majority of Australia's freight runs from Melbourne in the south to Sydney or Brisbane. Because the country and the infrastructure are as they are, it requires a wide selection of trucks to be able to solve the various tasks as best as possible. Therefore, trucks in Australia are very diverse. There is a big difference between the trucks you will see, which spans over light duty, medium duty, and heavy duty trucks, loading up to over 120 tons, with three and four trailers, as well as both long-nosed and cab over trucks. Come out four holy shit dude yeah yeah oh. yeah wow i mean look in the america the most i've seen of a 18 wheeler is like two, two. um s smaller um trailers on yep. there i haven't seen any more than that four like holy shit dude yeah yeah and i'm and I'm also wondering, like, does Australia not really have a, a, a decent railroad railroad system for freight? Because I, I don't know. I mean, look, that's that's how a lot of freight gets moved around this country. I mean, up behind, you know, tractor trailer trucks and airplanes. Well, like, I live near a freight line, and I see trains go by all the time hauling goods. So. And is is I'm, I'm assuming now hear me out on this, this is probably a massive assumption the roads are primarily flat straight no elevation not a lot of elevations right that because would make sense four four dude that's that's in that's blows my mind i couldn't imagine four trailers on a fucking truck Period. Yeah, that would that would be an insanity in the United States. <laughs> yeah. On the roads. Okay, so yeah, the same thing as when we did the America versus European 18 wheelers is when I compared it to driving school buses, the uh the flat nose um buses were definitely a, lo a lot easier to maneuver. They had, the turning radius was just so much yeah. better than a um one with a nose out yeah and but the nose out ones had more more room they were more spacious and uh and they were better for longer trips um like if i was going out from annapolis or to like northern virginia or Got further it. than that you like get that a would long be, nose yeah i get a long nose and they're typically bigger can fit more people could fit more like uh, stuff in there gotcha so, gotcha all right yeah with thousands of miles of road between the cities and no hills to cross, the Australian road train makes good sense. The normal road train is made up of three 44-foot trailers with a twin axle and turntable dolly under the front of the trailer. Wow! The load is 120 tons, spread over the three trailers. 
The normal road train is made up of three trailers and can be up to 53 meters in length, but in the mining game, they haul six trailers or more. Oh my god! In Australia, you can drive four hours without stopping, then you must stop for half an hour. You cannot drive for more than 12 hours in one day, but most drivers break regulations every day. <laughs> wow! Okay, so that's different. That's hugely different than both America wow. and Europe. Um, like, I think it's 14 hours in America. Yeah. And then nine hours in uh, uh, Europe. That's I can't. Crazy. I can't remember. I might. I could be wrong. Yeah, but the fact you have to take a break every half hour, and you've got a big ass four six trailers behind you like having Dude. to stop that is it gives me the heebie-jeebies like imagine like, like you're, you're right 100 percent. like the cost of maintenance on these trucks must be astronomical or so common because you are stopping the the best way to keep a truck going is movement i know right. that sounds stupid but it's like stopping six fucking trailers is not easy it takes at least a mile to stop or yeah, it more takes, it takes several miles to stop a a locomotive with a huge uh uh, uh, uh 50 60 whatever uh yep. cars behind it so yep. stopping one of these is not as long but pretty darn long you gotta yeah. have some space and know know your route I just I feel like the more you stop and go, the more shit can go wrong. That's like, possible. And and but then again, you know, you are putting more weight behind the engine. You are putting more pressure behind everything. So things, it, it's a it's a balance. Like I I get it within reason. Like it's good. I, I don't know if it's for the driver's sake more so than it's for the truck's sake. Yeah. You know, and I feel like there's a balance in between there, and I, I'm, I, I might get it, but I think that's a little much. Yeah, know? I, I don't know, man. Um, I'm sure some Austra Aussie truckers have uh, already commented, uh, disputing yes. that or yes. confirming it. Well, I so. hope so. That's how we learn our shit, dude. That's how we learn. Exactly. It. Exactly. Yeah. A driver has a logbook to fill out, but that means nothing. It's called the Book of Lies. <laughs> the roads in the outback can be narrow and rugged. Also, the weather is something the Australian truck drivers have to keep in mind, as it can be incredibly hot and dry, where temperatures can reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This places a great demand on the tires, the amount of fuel, and the amount of water you have to take with you on the road, as oh, large yeah. amounts of rain can also come and create unexpected situations for the driver. As to what you are seeing in Australia, near the coast there is normal farmland, but in the outback, you do not know what you will see next. At night, there are lots of kangaroos. They are actually a big animal weighing up to 90 kilograms or 198 pounds. That's why the trucks have big roo bars, or also called bull bars, on the front of the trucks. It is not unusual to hit four or five kangaroos on one trip, and they can do more damage than you think. Mm. Truck and trailer rules. Man, before we get into that, <laughs> uh, hitting a deer on the backwoods here in America, that is, uh, that's scary in itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I that's that's like on uh on the old locomotives um at least from my knowledge of Thomas the Tank Engine uh, uh cow catchers oh yes that's, uh, cattle catchers yep yeah yep. yeah they put them on the on the front of trains to uh uh deter uh what they're gonna run into correct it just throws them off but you know I didn't know that they were that heavy I mean I I figure like they're solid right they're like what what did what did I saw a meme kangaroos are just deer that went to prison like <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah that's kind of what i what i what i think of them but um that's crazy four four kangaroos like that's <laughs> and that's an average sometimes that's, you don't hit any sometimes you hit more that's crazy all right yeah man back it up just a little bit here we go you don't see that in America. Like no. it's not it's not on the supplier nope. where the goods are coming from. It's on the individual trucker 
or Chucky in this case, and might wow. be on the company as well. So that's, that's huge, dude. That's, that's such like difference. that's like a we need that. Like we need that because because that's <laughs> well because like a lot of ours our our freight is is delivered and run by self owned people like rent a truck kind of thing owner operators yeah owner operators right and all that pressure falls just on them you know yeah but if the companies get held responsible that are loading them up there's more accountability yeah. so less possible financial ruin lay in store or less risk of financial ruin lay in store for the truck driver alone right like right when you truck. share responsibility it's like hey i didn't load my truck up someone mm -hmm. else did i double checked you know everyone's responsible yep it, that's it that's it some responsibility back to the freight forwarders and trucking companies to make sure the truck driver has sufficient hours and equipment to make the trip without the need to break the law. Lack of drivers. The wages are not too bad for Australian truckies. They earn around 600 a week. The average wage in Australia for other blue collar jobs is about 375 a week. Wow. However, it also requires many hours of work, long days, and periods where you spend the night in trucks and are away from home. A shortage of drivers has been an ever-increasing problem for some years in Australia. With an average age of about 54 years, not enough oh. young people are joining the industry. Many are leaving the trucking industry in Australia due to over-policing, many workout hours away from home, and a huge lack of respect for the profession. Some of the larger companies have used an immigration loophole to bring in unskilled overseas truck drivers. The results of this have been disastrous, as you could imagine. In each state in Australia, the majority of heavy vehicle incidents are caused by these unskilled immigrant drivers. We hope for a bright future for the Australian truckers. Thanks for watching and Wow, that's that last part about uh, not having enough people to operate the trucks. I mean, that's that's a problem across the board. Yeah. I mean, actually, in in America, I've seen at least on YouTube and on TikTok, there's more younger uh, people coming into trucking because it's you know it, you get to see the country, you, you you work you pretty much work on your own, it's, and it's it's good work life balance for them. It's it's like romanticized. Now, like yeah. the thing, it used to be romanticized, uh, had the family settled down kind of thing, right? That used to be heavily pushed on the 50 some year old truckers that are currently in. Now, yeah. the pressure to procreate and settle down is not the main thing that is pushed. Right, right, right. Not, not anymore, at least for the, so, those people. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot of our generation should possibly look into truck driving, you know, yeah. because it's like a lot of them don't have families, d just kind of got on their feet. At least my generation just are kind of getting on their feet, which is wild. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, if you don't have families, don't have whatever, and you just want to see the country, that is the way to go. Um, yeah, yeah, and and like that's one of the reasons, like. I took up uh, school bus driving for a, a while is it was the perfect work-life balance for me. Um, I mean, obviously there's different schedules for other types of CDL jobs, um, for truckers, for um, dump truck drivers, trash truck drivers, whatever else. But for me, it fit. So yep. it's, it's, it's a highly under underappreciated skill and sect of, uh, of work, at least in, in the blue collar fields and the so. money is i mean great if you compare it to the average wage of 375 a week that's yeah. double like yeah it's it, it's like almost double <sighs> for other blue collar type jobs yeah which that's that's it's crazy man and i i, I can't believe it's not like respected because that is how goods are shipped like dude they are freaking 
important just like your job as a school bus driver was so important like no one gets that it right, blows right. you're in charge of people's futures their families yeah like, yeah and that's that's a big part of it is getting to school and being being there that's that's the first step um that's very under undervalued and, yeah. and the the point that i was also wanted to touch on was the not appreciating it as much is you know during covid especially when everyone was home ordering stuff online they didn't get to sit at home and collect unemployment they nope. their workloads got that much uh, more intense and they, they it, blew it, off. The supp- yeah the supply chain still hasn't recovered from that yet no nope. no nope. yeah it's crazy yeah. man it's crazy but this was a really informative man like these yeah. past couple of truck videos we've had been super informative to me like yeah they yeah. answer questions i didn't ask but i'm glad i'm learning like yeah, yeah. It, it, it gives it gives you appreciation because it's, it's not just happening here in america it's happening in australia as well and um i want to know because uh, there was the la- also other last part in there about some trucking companies will get immigrants get Im- an immigrant loophole in order to fill vacancies and i wonder is that are those companies is there an equivalent of australia um to our in america there's a company swift which has a uh do, do you know what i'm talking about no tell me tell me it's it's uh s w i f t uh yeah uh what 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 do you think the acronym stands for no nothing i i have no idea what what swift even comes close to meaning i just don't know every time i see their freaking truck i'm like just shake it off daniel just shake it off yeah no but but it, it the acronym in the trucking uh, uh community here in america is stevie wonder institute for trucking because because oh. they are the worst drivers they they're the most likely ones to back into uh other truckers in a truck stop and they're most likely to take turns that they shouldn't be taking and have to get rescued they're most li- likely to be found on the side of the road oh, and man. they'll hire just about anybody like they're on the level of like walmart and mcdonald's when it comes to trucking got it they're like the wish <laughs> the wish.com version of a truck driver got it yeah. So I would like to know if there's an equivalent of that of Australia that's taking uh, oh, using yeah. those immigrant loopholes to uh, fill the vacancies. Oh man, it just it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think that they're getting like you have to. You may know how to drive an 18 wheeler properly, right? Yeah. But to drive an 18 wheeler properly with four fucking like it's a train. That's what it is. It's a, it is a, it's train. a train on the it's road. It's a total train. Like, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of countries have that infrastructure to allow that. There's like Ugh. not even here. You couldn't get right, right. max two. If you talk about like the Midwest and like Nebraska, Kansas, that area, you could get away with it. But once you get to the Rockies, you are You're done. That four, six wide, you ain't doing that. You, you are ain't blowing doing up the engine easily. Yes, yes or you are. Or burning your brakes. Because you better go from mountain mountain to mountain. You just better service the middle valley of the yeah. U.S. That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're going to use up that runaway truck ramp really quickly. I couldn't imagine the catastrophe that would cause. A, like a, a 18-wheeler train on a runoff that's meant for just a regular truck that would it would be, be a chaos. disaster it would shut it down but yeah. um yeah no this is awesome man this is great like i i really like these these are super informative and they bring another kind of layer of knowledge to the channel that yeah absolutely is appreciated yeah yeah, you know? the fact that we've been discussing this for so long is a good oh, sign yeah, right. of you know something that <laughs> yeah. we could be will go down further of a rabbit hole of oh, sure. because we know that our Australian um, 
community has grown. Like yeah. for the longest time, it was like four or five percent of our watching audience. Now it's like 10, 12 percent. Those Aussies watching, comment down below what you want to see because yes. we know you're here. Yep. And if you want to take that crown back from the UK, then <laughs> you get the power is in your hands to do so. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'll just leave yeah. it at that, man, because that's <sighs> yeah. But um, all I know is that this this kind of stuff I love when they have yeah. these comparisons or or just knowledge in general, man. I love I love learning yeah. on this channel, you know, because yeah, it's man. stuff it's... I would never find normally. Of course, yeah, yeah. It's it's good it's good to uh, have things like this on the channel yeah. for yeah. a lot. So <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember if we said two thumbs up or not. I, oh, I can't I, even I liked remember. It. I liked it. Yeah, I, li I, liked I liked it, it too. <laughs> awesome. it, it was that great of a discussion that we forgot that part. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. You'll find it. You're like, wait, what? Yeah, Four yeah. thumbs we'll up. And... Hey, hell yeah. 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 Anyway, y'all, um, I've already asked y'all to put stuff yes. in the comments of uh, learned it stuff from Australia, maybe entertainment stuff. Y'all know y'all know what we're about. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, there's someone around to subscribe, there's someone around to watch another video. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.